Hello, hello, good night, everyone. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hello, hello. Good, evening. good evening. Thank you. Good evening. Nice to meet you guys. Thank you for waiting and sorry for the delay because, as you know, it's my first day and some things that are technical were not working right now. So, is Oscar here? He was having problems accessing. You know if he could enter to the classroom? Oscar. Hello. <laughs> Okay, okay, let's begin with the class. Uh, let them to enter uh, a little bit later so we can we can uh, uh, know them. Well, as you know, my name is Claudia. You can call me only Claudia or Miss Claudia or Clau, or if you feel comfortable with that, uh, maybe a teacher, <laughs> but it's okay for me. Any Anyone will be okay. So uh, in this case, well, uh, we were we will be beginning with the well a little bit about me. Okay, my presentation. I learned English first in El Salvador, in in high school. I graduated, and I I always loved languages. I know English. I know Italian a little bit. I can read uh, Portuguese and also. Catalan. <laughs> that is that is something that I like to do it. So um, where did I improve my English? So um, basically, I was traveling for a lot of time to the US. And then I lived for a couple of years there. So that is why uh, I am improving a lot. So if you are not understanding me, or if you need to uh, know some word in Spanish, just let me know and I will uh, switch immediately, okay? So I want to know you, you know now is uh, something about me, okay? Something personal is I love cats. I have seven cats, <laughs> they are my kids and I, I, love, I love cats only. So I love dogs also, but I prefer, I do rather uh, to have cats. So let me know you. And I want to, uh, you to introduce yourselves and let me know who are you. So I want you to begin uh, telling your name and what is your reason uh, for studying English? And how do you feel here? If you are, you're a kind of uh, uh, so-so, your, your understanding, or if you are very basic, or if you uh, are understanding English perfectly. So let's begin with the, let me see, who am I having on the list? Margarita is the first one in my list. So can you please begin, Margarita? Hello, Mrs. Hello. <laughs> don't be nervous, don't be shy. <laughs> We're learning. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm nervous. I, my name is, Margarita Medin. Mm -hmm. I don't like cats. Guacala. You don't like cats. Okay. No, no, Guacala. No, no. Guacala. <laughs> Eso no tiene traducción. Um, uh, me cuesta mucho el, eh, al poder expresarme en inglés. Aunque mm -hmm. entiendo un buen porcentaje, pero me cuesta mucho expresarme en inglés. Mm -hmm. Ordenar las ideas, pero estoy tratando y estamos aprendiendo. Creo que, no sé si es el caso de todos, pero sí, a veces del 100%, entiendo un 85, 90% y el 10% me quedo en el aire. Ok, so let me ask you a question. Do you dream in English? Do you have dreams with people speaking English? Or you even speaking English? 
in your dreams when you're sleeping? Mm -mm. Never? No. No? No. Mm, okay. So uh, when you are when you are totally bilingual on your brain, you will begin to do that. That means your brain is totally bilingual, but your mouth is not still speaking. But you're on your brain, you have the capability to do it. So let me know when you when you begin to dream in English, because I dream in English sometimes. <laughs> So okay. that would be a good sign for you. Okay, let's go with, thank you, Margarita. Uh, can I have someone from uh, Cecilia, Cecilia Melgar? Hello. Uh -huh. Hello. Can you, can yeah. we have your presentation, please? Okay. Uh, hello, everyone. My name is Ceci. Um, nice to meet you, Miss Claudia. Nice to meet you, um, too. I hate the cats. Sorry. Oh, uh, <laughs> you break my heart. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Uh -huh. uh, my expectations for this first. This Your expectations. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh, is near more and I study in the university. Uh huh. In the university. Um, uh -huh. at the university I like at uh -huh. the university and uh -huh. I would like to learn more English and I know the basic this is all okay. or you have other question for me mm, ask me no. ask me oh okay okay um what uh, what are you studying at the university I study international relations. Okay. Uh huh. Licenciatura en relaciones internacionales. Okay. Uh, that is international affairs bachelor degree. Bachelor. Okay. Yeah, okay. bachelor. Bachelor is not bachelor. <laughs> bachelor uh -huh. is graduation from the, the from the university. Okay. okay, that is that is good. I know English is is very important in your in your in your career because you will be yes. traveling sometimes, and you have to know another languages and cultures. Okay, thank you. Okay, let's go with Carmen Carmen Diaz. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Okay. Mm -hmm. My name is Carmen. Mm -hmm. I know you a cat. You have a cat? Yeah. One. Okay, my first one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And why are you studying English? Um going to say um no muy bien. <laughs> me okay. cuesta mucho, me está costando mucho aprender el inglés. Uh -huh. um, eh, un poco, uh -huh. pero me cuesta mucho lo que es la pronunciación y la escritura. Ok, um, grammar, basically, grammar is writing. Writing is grammar and pronunciation. Let me give you some tip for everyone with the pronunciation. Um, okay, I will tell you this in Spanish. Okay, eh, para el lenguaje, una de las cosas que a mí me dijeron que era muy útil y me sirvió es que el español es pronunciación aguda, o sea que terminamos con canto. No importa si somos, de qué somos, ¿verdad? No importa si hablamos cantado o no hablamos cantado. Nuestra pronunciación termina al final, o sea, siempre tendemos a entonar la voz o a elevarla cuando vamos a terminar. Entonces, si ustedes analizan cómo hablan, eh, van a oír ese in, in al final, ¿verdad? En cambio, el inglés es grave, es grave, o sea, en la penúltima sílaba ustedes tienen que hacer el, 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 la entonación. Esa es una clave, porque pueden hablar inglés, pero lo siguen hablando como latino, 
en la entonación. Entonces ahí se va a notar que no, que no hablan bien. Entonces, este, por ejemplo, si yo digo, eh, hay gente que dice, how are you? Y no es how are you, es how are you. O sea, es como la, 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 o sea, puede ser otra palabra, pero la antes de terminar tiene que ser el, el, la entonación fonética. Entonces, no es how are you, y el you no es con y, no es con la y latina, esa es otra forma que nos detectan el español, es con you, como, como que dijeran hielo. Así se dice, uh -huh. eh, también, no es yellow, sino que es yellow, yellow. Entonces, cuando dicen, como que están diciendo hielo, pues aquí en uh, ice, ¿verdad? Entonces, ahí, solo ahí, van a cambiar un montón. Les digo porque a mí una persona de Estados Unidos fue lo primero que me empezó diciendo y yo lo cambié eh, y cambió mucho. <ríe> cambió mucho. Yo estaba estudiando un poquito acá y entonces ahí cambió mucho. Y a los seis meses que volví a verla, me dijo que había mejorado un montón. Esa es la, traten de leer y cuando lean, este, eh, óiganse. Y si están terminando encantado, es que están con el acento eh, en español. Entonces, el, el inglés es grave. O sea, si ustedes dicen, eh, uh, no sé, por ejemplo, eh, mm, let me see a word. Eh, eh, My name is, for, for example. Ajá, vaya, por ejemplo, en el my name es otra cosa. Eh, hagan esto, si tienen un lápiz, por ahí veo, quiero ver cómo se llama. A Oscar, ah, el famoso Oscar. <laughs> Hello. Ok, use a pencil. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, welcome. Sorry, me estaba sacando cada rato, tengo problemas de conexión porque está lloviendo. Vaya, acá, creo que sí, todo aquí todo. también Uy, estoy lloviendo. A la hora. Ok, ok, use a pencil, no lapicero, oh. ¿verdad? Se puede lapicero, pero si no lápiz, lápiz porque lo van a morder. Entonces, ese es otro tip. Me van a ver bien. Me voy a acercar a la cámara. Hagan esto. Ok. And now try to read in English. Porque esta es la posición de la boca con el, el lápiz metido. Trate de decir, Margarita, my name. Así. My name. Eh, no. Es que es my name. No. My name. Name. My name. Exacto. Va a ser un esfuerzo para. Yeah. Está bien el palillo. Good. Entonces, yeah. uh -huh. Entonces ahí le va a salir también la R, la, la, la R que empiezan a hablar como, como si oyen a veces, eh, yo hablo hablar, así como el R. R. Entonces es como así como que dijera Carmen Gear. Carmen. Entonces yo lo digo en inglés es Carmen. Ven, ven, oh. mi boca está abierta. O sea, entre más abran la boca, más fácil va a ser su pronunciación en inglés. Pero yo sé que cuando uno empieza le da pena y no abre la boca por, por temor, ¿verdad? Por miedo a que le oigan y, y le da pena, ¿verdad? Pero tienen que abrir muy bien la boca porque les voy a leer ahorita. Bueno, yo tengo aquí nuestra computadora. Tengo el Bing eh, Internet Explorer. Por ejemplo, una, una noticia... Um, Pues no tengo así como montón, pero le voy a leer un título. Sería como... Mmm, quiero ver, aquí está. Por ejemplo, lo que dice aquí, dice The Scandinavian Avian. La B pequeña es con los dientes. Nosotros decimos B con los labios, como sea. Pero aquí es Scandinavian con los dientes. Uh, sleep, 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 no, sleep, sino que sleep, o sea, se ocupan mucho los dientes, en español se ocupan los labios, en inglés se ocupan los dientes y los labios a la vez, o sea, nuestras posturas de dientes y de lengua y de labios son diferentes en inglés y en español, por eso es que ustedes, aunque no, <ríe> pónganse a leer y pronuncien en voz alta, porque así lo van a entender. Así lo van a poder hacer. Si no, es mentira. Right. The Scandinavian slip method 
could be the key to saving your sleep. Si yo cierro la boca, van a oír cómo se oye. The Scandinavian sleep method could be the key. Ven mi boca, está cerrada. No pronuncio bien. Cuando ustedes están oyendo, oyen hablar en inglés, se tiene que oír esto. A cada rato. Porque están ahí pronunciando exactamente como tiene que ser. Pero si no abren la boca, nunca van a oír eso. Entonces, estamos, ¿verdad? O sea, es discandinavian. O sea, B es, la, es el acento, discandinavian. En cambio, en español es discandinavian, discandinavian. Y empiezan a pronunciar todo en español. Y no es así. O sea, el acento desde el americano, tanto como el british, eh, es así, es, es en grave. Así van a, van a, para empezar, van a empezar a cambiar. Otra cosa que también se nota con el latino, cuando usted dicen, eh, give me a pencil. A pencil. A es latino. En Estados Unidos es a pencil. A pencil. O sea, la E como, la A pronunciada como debe de ser, A, B, C, ¿verdad? Entonces ahí es a pencil. Entonces, this is a pencil. Si usted dice a pencil, toda la gente se le va a quedar así como que habla raro, ¿verdad? Aquí en, el, aquí en, en Latinoamérica. Pero si ustedes van a Estados Unidos, todo el mundo dice a pencil. Así, o sea, eh, con esos cambios empiezan a cambiar, eh, empiezan a modificar su inglés y lo van a hablar muy bien. Así, o sea, es, es, es uno de los primeros cambios que a mí me dijeron, el cambio de la, los labios, abrir bien la boca para, pro, para obligar a los dientes y a los labios a pronunciar bien. Es como en el español. Si ustedes hablan con la boca cerrada, eh, lo que va, el problema que van a tener es el T, la T, la S y la R. No se les va a entender. La R de Estados Unidos es R, con una es como una, solo una, en cambio la de español es muy fuerte, porque es la que adquirimos del castellano. Entonces, como dicen, eh, por ejemplo, I got a, I got a, I got exam. Puede decir, I got exam, pero eso es más British. En cambio, el americano hace como la, se llama aglutinación, cuando une la última letra de la última palabra con la primera del otro. Entonces, I got, a, I got a mail. Me cayó un correo. I got a mail. Gara. Gara es got a. Lo pueden decir de ambas formas. El I got a es como decir voy a ir. Aquí en, en español. I got a es yo fui. En cambio, I got a mail, es yo así hablando normal. Ese es el inglés de oficina, el ejecutivo. New York, Washington, D.C., pero el gara es Los Ángeles. Eh, o sea, son los estados así, Miami. Por ejemplo, Miami no se dice Miami. Miami. Miami es el para Estados Unidos. Somos nosotros los que decimos Miami. Miami no existe. De Miami, Florida. No es Florida. Florida. Understood, kids? Or do you have any questions? <laughs> you see the difference when you are uh, listening to, to a person that is English speaker, native, that is the difference between a native speaker and someone that is a Spanish tongue speaker. Because you, you will be pronouncing English but with your Latin accent. But if you're native, you will be uh, making the intonation uh, with the United States accent. That is, that is the, the, the thing. So I recommend you to watch uh, news, some news, because they, they have to make a, a really good copies. So they have a really good grammar. And you will be reading uh, perfect. If you are using songs, music is terrible because they are making fixes just to make the song to sound good. But it's not a good English. The good English is at the news. So you, you can be in translation from Netflix. Mm -mm. Translation from Netflix sometimes is from people in Latin America. 
that is applying for translations. So it's not native also. That is, that is one of the keys. And this, this key that I gave to you is for actors. When you're, when you're trying to make the accent in English, they recommend you to put a pencil on your teeth so you can reproduce the accent. In the beginning will be like very uncomfortable, but the, at the end, you will be accustomed on your listening to have this. Okay, let's continue with the another person. Uh, Oscar, did you make your did you make your presentation? Not, not already. I want to listen to you. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Hello. My name is Oscar Melendez, and a student. I study uh, culinary arts. <gasps> wow. Uh, Yes. <laughs> um, it's a pleasure. Um, uh -huh. um, ¿Cómo sería? Um, know you? No, o sea, no, sería como conocerla. Nice to meet uh, you. Ah, it's so nice to meet you. Uh -huh. uh, and I try to uh, speak English. So it's so, so very hard for me. <laughs> well, I, I, I have to tell you, it's, you're not totally uh, bad. <laughs> I, I listen to you and you can make I, some I try, I sentences. <laughs> okay, <laughs> let's, let's do something also. Uh, if you are making a presentation, you have to say Oscar. It's not Oscar. Is Oscar. 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 Uh huh. It's like a car. Oscar. Oscar. Okay. Mm -hmm. That is an English. A very important name because if that's the ceremony of the actors and actresses, <laughs> actors and actresses that are awarded, that is a very important name. <laughs> let me let me guess. You have cats or not? No. Cats. Cats. Animals. Uh -huh. Cats. Pets. Animals. Pets. Uh -huh. uh, I, pets. Animals uh, in the I, jungle. I, I, <laughs> I, I, yeah. Okay. I have uh, two cats. Wow. You, you, uh, yeah. You're making me feel happy. <laughs> uh, I, love, I love the cat. <laughs> you love cats. And, um, one dog. Okay. Let me show you and is see my teeth and with the and. tongue in between the teeth and and uh -huh. and you open your mouth and and exactly that is if you have your open mouth that is the purpose of the pencil you will have your open mouth so you will be obligated to pronounce very well Okay, thank you. Let me see. Uh, Jose Luis. Good night. Hello, good night. Welcome. Hello. Hello. My name is Jose Luis Gomez. Mm -hmm. I am 41 years old. Okay. I have a degree in business administration. Ooh. I like the music. Uh -huh. I don't like cats. Oh. I prefer dogs mm -hmm. and I study English to learn the language and to learn, understand, learn mm -hmm. the language and understand movies, mm -hmm. music, read, write and speak. Wow, I'm impressed. <laughs> okay, <laughs> so it's to read to write in, in verming in the base form is always uh, with the uh, preposition to in, in the to. beginning. To read is leer only. In Spanish yes. is only one word, but if you want to say it in English is to read, leer. To write, escribir. To learn is um, okay. aprender. Okay, thank you. I hope you okay. can learn a lot. 
Okay, next one. Yes. Let me see. Cecilia is already done. Carmen already done. Ingrid. Oh, no, 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 no. Let me see. Daisy. Hello, Daisy. Hello. Good evening. Good evening, lady. How are you? Fine. I'm Daisy. Okay. But uh, you call me Daisy? Yes, I call you Daisy. <laughs> I like it. Uh -huh. uh, I'm a study public accountant. Uh -huh. Public accountancy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, public accountancy. Mm -hmm. I love the music. Mm -hmm. uh, music only, without the. Okay. Music. I love music. Mm -hmm. I love music. Mm -hmm. Um. Uh, I am 25 years old. Okay. I I like the motorcycles. <gasps> wow, okay. <laughs> I have one. <gasps> mm. uh, I study English uh, because uh, uh, more uh, opportunities job opportunity uh -huh. and I like it. you like English okay yeah. that is that is I perfect try, try to yeah you're you're trying you're trying good it is it is okay it is it is okay I can I could understand you just as a speed uh, because you're translating on your mind I see but <laughs> it's 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 it just real try to read and read and read and read and read and read and read. That would be like improving your your mouth accustoms to the to the to the to the language because your your language is programmed with Spanish. <laughs> so you have to program it's like when you're writing in English in the computer is really hard because you're accustomed to write in Spanish. So it is the same with your mouth and your teeth and your tongue. They are not accustomed to Spanish. It's like French. French, you're not accustomed in the throat to make that is like on you, toi, yeah? cinq, six, huit, neuf. It's like, right? It's not accustomed. Spanish is not like that. So you have to accustom your, your mouth to English. So read, read out loud, anything you like. Anything you see in the internet, try to read it in English. So you're accustomed your 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 mouth to English only. Okay, thank you, Daisy. Okay, let's continue with Erica. Hello. Hello. Good evening. Good evening. My name. My name is Erica Alejandra. My name. And my name. name. Uh -huh. is Erika Alejandra. Uh, mm -hmm. You can call me Alejandra or Ale. Okay. Um, nice to meet you, Miss Claudia. Mm -hmm. Nice to meet you too. I am uh, 27 years old. Okay. Uh, I had a degree business administration. Mm -hmm. I prefer the dogs. I had two dogs and I don't like cats. Mm. <laughs> Terrible <laughs> news for me. Terrible news for me. <laughs> okay. okay, let's 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 do something. Is when you're beginning with B is have with the have. teeth. Have showing your teeth. Have. have. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. Try to try to uh, during the day try to say vaca nor vaca it's different so and when you're something with b let's say boca mm -hmm. it's different in b and in the other one okay okay that will be improved but it's it's good it's good <laughs> your english is good <laughs> i see it's a good grammar in your mind Okay. Yeah, um, my English no is not very good, <laughs> but uh, I am 
her learning. <laughs> Oh, you will be improving, no problem. Everyone is is learning. Everyone is beginning from zero, so no problem. I I was not learn English when I was a kid, so it is okay. Yeah. So uh, thank you. Okay, another thing, maybe you're sometimes applying for maybe a call center or some or some places when you are uh, ask ask to be. Uh, speaking English so it's it's not very very no it's very very like Merry Christmas is very like berries you know berries the grapes las uvas como las uvas is blueberry entonces very como dicen very interesting very intelligent very beautiful you see the combination, very beautiful, beautiful. It's like with the power on the, on the lips, beautiful. Yeah, that is the difference. So try to see a difference in, in when you're listening to, to persons. So if you're listening to music, you have sound, but if you're listening to news, you will see the mouth how the people is pronouncing, and you will listen only the voice of the person that is reading because they are reading. <laughs> so you will see the mouth, okay? That is will be just seeing you, Barry, and the pronunciation eh, en tono grave. Y ya van a ver qué diferencia en el inglés. Solo eso. Y en menos de... Dos meses, tres, dan vuelta al, al inglés. Solo con eso, que se fijen en eso y ya van a ver qué diferente hablan. A ver, let's continue. Miss Sarah, please come and show us your English. Sarah Guzman. Hello, teacher. Good Hello. evening. Good evening. Nice to meet you. Nice yeah. to meet you too. Hey, my name is my name is Sara. Mm -hmm. um, I love dancing. I'm from um, the San Salvador. Um, How um, old are you? Yes. Hey, my my uh, expectation are the real English. Speaks and writes and listen. Uh, mm -hmm. Do English and language is, is, is very difficult for me. Mm -hmm. Is mm, estoy intentando. <laughs> ah, pero así así empieza. No se preocupe. <laughs> así empieza intentando. Yes, um, I I have uh, the dog. Ah, oh, you have dogs. Okay. Mm -hmm. Is mm, Mm, um, a, a cat and he tenido gatos. You have had uh, cats, cats, okay? Cats, and, yes. Uh, um, uh, but actually, it is um, preferred in, in the dog. Okay. Is, um, I working in Aduana, the El Salvador. Okay. In, Customs. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. um, only for for a moment. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I see. I see why are you uh, trying to learn English? Okay, well, plurals and, and singulars are, are the problem here. Plural is I have expectations or it's, it's trying. Yeah, the plurals and singulars are the problem here right now. So you have to try to try. And uh, let me tell you, when you are uh, speaking about, for example, I have a, a cat, uh, she's a lady and is sick right now, but I have seven. How I uh, make a difference between my cat that is sick and the other ones? I, I will add the article, the, because it's an a specific cat from the rest of the cats. So the cat is sick. I use the when I'm talking about something really specific. 
But if I'm talking in general, I don't add the, just cats. Cats are pretty for me, nor the cats. The cats, I'm talking about my cats, but cats are pretty, I'm talking about any cat in the world. <laughs> but if I say the cats, I'm talking about my cats, only, only them. So the is very specific. For example, English, uh, English classes are difficult for me. I'm talking about any class, but if I'm saying the class that I have tonight is really, really amazing for me. I'm talking about my group. <laughs> I'm talking about my class, not the rest. So the is for an specific when I'm making a difference, a very, a very uh, uh, specific difference. But I'm talking in general, I have, I don't have to use the. The is, is not Spanish. No tienen que decir el, la como en español. Tienen que des, eh, es en general. Por ejemplo, ga, los gatos no es los gatos, solo es cats. Cats es los gatos, traducido. Pero eso es como traducción literal, ¿verdad? De cats es específico. Pero si yo hablo, como decir, los gatos son, por ejemplo, aquí veo que no les gustan. Entonces, los gatos son feos, por ejemplo. En español sí se usa el artículo. Pero en inglés, cats are, be, are ugly for me. O sea, es que yo no aguanto ni un gato en mi vida. Ni en ninguna parte. Entonces yo generalizo, por eso no ocupo. En cambio, si el gato de mi vecina es el que me está arruinando la vida y me huya toda la noche y no me deja dormir, the cat from my neighbor is crying the whole night. I couldn't sleep. Estoy hablando de ese gato en específico, entonces es the cat. O solo ese. Pero cuando lo quito es en general. Solo se pone el the cuando es... Eh, uno en específico. Esa es otra. Artículos. Estoy tomando nota. I'm taking notes. Articles, plural, singulars, <laughs> pronunciation, am, <laughs> a lot of things. Okay. Let, thank you for your participation. And then let's have Miss Ingrid. Ingrid Serna. Okay. Ok, es tu turno. La sesión tampoco es tan buena, pero igual lo voy a intentar. Uh, ok. <laughs> ok. Hello, my name is Ingrid Serna. Uh -huh. uh, nice to meet you, Sister Claudia. Uh -huh. um, um, I like folk music and country music. Oh, ok. Um, I love the cat. And you love cats, only cats in general. You love cats. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, okay. I love cats. Exactly. Mm -hmm. I have two cats and one dog. Okay. Mm -hmm. And do you study or do something? No. Pues ahorita no. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. That's okay. Thank you for your presentation and, and thank you for loving cats. <laughs> okay. Let me see. Next one. Oscar, Raquel, Ronald. Ronald Antonio. Today is your day, you know. Antonio is uh, today. Is Hello. The day of Antonio. Good evening. Good evening, sir. Nice to meet you. Mr. Nice to meet you too. Claudia. Nice to meet my you name too. Is, okay. My name is Ronald Luna. Okay. I have 34 years old. Okay. Uh, I started as public cousin. I work in costume. Mm -hmm. uh, I have five dogs and two cats. Oh, sí. eh, I want to learn more English. Beautiful. 
Yeah, and you will do it, I promise. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, thank you, Mr. Okay. Ronald. You're welcome. Okay. okay, thank you. Okay, then let me see if we, oh, Jeffrey, this is a, a very English name, Jeffrey, Ray Jeffrey Giovanni, that is Italian, Jeffrey. <laughs> Hello, Miss, good evening, nice to meet you. Hello, Jeffrey, nice to meet you too. Okay, um, my name is Jeffrey Torres, um, I'm from Sensuntepeque, Cabañas. Uh, I'm 21 years old, uh -huh. and I don't know, I'm an agronomist engineer, uh -huh. and I have a small pet, Khaled Bonnie, uh, uh -huh. she's a, a pit bull puppy. Oh, uh-huh. <laughs> um, I don't know. It's a, um, it's a female or a male? It's a female. Okay, a female. It's a so, female. Okay, so she, you called, called her by her name. Khaled, Khaled, Khaled is British, but in English, American English is called. Cold. Mm -hmm. Cold. Cold. is in, in English of, of Europe. Europe. United Kingdom. Exactly. But in uh, the in the in American English is cold. Cold. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, you're welcome. Okay, so an engineer, agronomist. Mm, very interesting. Very interesting. Okay, so uh, let me see if there is someone else, Guadalupe. Hello, good evening. Hello, good evening. My name is uh, Guadalupe Lisset. Mm -hmm. I work in customs officer. Okay. Um, is um. It's a little difficult, the uh -huh. pronunciation yeah. of English, <laughs> yeah. but uh, I try. <laughs> yeah, that's really nice. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Okay, very, very few words, but all of them are okay. That is good, okay. Thank you, Guadalupe. So let's continue with Ivania. Anna Ivania. Oh, that's Russian. Mm. Hello. Good night. Hello. Nice to meet night. you. Nice to meet you too. Uh, my name is Ivania uh, Guevara. Um, uh -huh. uh, you call me Ivania. Uh -huh, okay. Uh, I um, I work uh, in a in a bank uh -huh. in a in a branch of bank. Mm -hmm. And I, I have a, a forty-eight years old. Mm -hmm. um, I like a English, uh, mm -hmm. but I need a for okay. <laughs> more, uh, uh, more. Uh -huh. uh, but. Um, uh, I need a uh, better my listen. Um, uh, okay. Oh, I have a pet. Is a mm -hmm. dog. A okay. <laughs> a baby dog. Oh, baby it's a puppy. Dog. Okay. Oh, dear, dear. <laughs> a puppy. Mm, uh, okay. I, I don't like a. Uh, Cats. Cats. Ah, <laughs> no, no, no. Terrible thing. No. Oh, <laughs> you made me cry. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Let me tell okay. you some uh, corrections only. In Spanish, we say, yo tengo. Okay. 30 años. But in English, okay. is the verb to be. I am. Remember, I am, I am is yo soy, yo estoy. So, okay. I am. And the, the age, I am 40 years old, okay. or I am 30 years old, I am. 
Uh -huh. okay. okay, okay, thank you. Well, You're okay. welcome. <laughs> okay, let's continue. Let's see the last one. Oh, we don't have any more. So let me see, Carmen, Cecilia, Jose Luis. Okay, let me pronounce your name so you can get accustomed to the, to the English pronunciation of your name. And I will make a difference in between Spanish and English. So, Carmen is Carmen. Is the A is between A and O, Carmen. Then, Ce Cecilia is Cecilia. So, listen in English. Cecilia is like Z, Cecilia. Okay, Jose Luis. Jose Luis, how, how, it's like how, Jose Luis, okay? If we are translating, sometimes people, when they are uh, migrating to the US, they say, oh, call me Joe. <laughs> Jose Luis is Joe Luis or something like that. But sometimes the American people call them like Jose, Jose. So you can call, we can call him or Louis, Louis or Louis. How's that, Louis? I have a question. Okay, continue. Uh huh. Jose is the same. Joseph. Jose y Jos y Josep. 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 Mm, digamos que sí, pero Josep es como otra otra connotación. Es como Josefo. Mm -hmm. Joseph. Mm -hmm. Okay. Remember is Jose is with the stress. English, okay. el inglés no tiene, no tiene tilde. Entonces mm -hmm. se dicen Jose. Es okay. con la primera. Entonces es Jose Lewis. And this Gomez es fácil porque es Gomez. El que varas está okay. difícil. Pero eh, porque el que no existe en, esta, en, en inglés. Entonces es como Jose si lo quiere traducir es como un Joe Lewis. Lewis. Joe Lewis. Mm -hmm. Lewis. Mm -hmm. Ok, thank you. Ok, you're welcome. Let me see. The Ingrid is easy. Ingrid, the same. So a little bit pronunciation with the D at the end. Ingrid. Then um, Raquel is Rachel. 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 Uh, Sarah is, uh, is Sarah, but in English is Sarah. Remember, Sarah is with H at the end, Sarah. Yeah, there was a, a very famous song about Sarah in, in a group that was from the 1980s. Sarah, Sarah, stones are brewing in your eyes. Do you, re do you listen to that, that music or that song? You remember that? It's a very famous song, yes. Sarah. Okay, that is saying, <laughs> it is calling Sarah. Is from the a 80s music. 80s, right? The oldies. <laughs> yes. Okay, Daisy. Okay, Daisy. It is written with D E J. In English, that is Daisy, like with E. But in in I Daisy is um estas flores que son margaritas. Daisy is margarita. O sea, en, es, en inglés un nombre es Margarita. O sea, es tocaya de nuestra amiga, de Margarita Lisette. <ríe> o sea, Daisy es, así está escrito como se oye, pero es con A, Daisy. Ese sí está completamente inglés. A ver, Oscar, the famous man. <ríe> Oscar. Oscar. With la O entre O y a Oscar. Uh -huh. De ahí, Margarita. Margarita. Es Margaret. Podría ser Margaret. También Margaret. Eh, o si no, la gente dice Margarita. Pero la T no la pueden pronunciar así. Sino que la ponen como R, lo que yo les decía. Margarita. O Margaret. O si no, eh, Maggie. <ríe> Maggie, como los Simpson, es el diminutivo no. de Margarita. Maggie. Yeah. <ríe> ok. So, Erica. Uh, that is English also. Erica. Erica, let me see who's next. Erica. Uh -huh. De ahí, um, Anna. Anna is Anna. Anna. So, uh, but she wants uh, to call her Ivania. Ivania is Ivania. Ivania, porque es Russian. It says, 
eh, eh, Juan, Juana en ruso, porque Iván es Juan. Entonces, Ivania es Juana, solo que está en ruso. Entonces, es Anna Ivania. De ahí es Guadalupe, es Guadalupe, Guadalupe es Guadalupe, Guadalupe. Eh, solo así, a menos que quieran decir Lisette, eh, Liz, como Liz Taylor. O Guadalupe, Guadalupe, Guadalupe. Ahí sí que no hay forma de decirlo, Guadalupe. De ahí es José Luis, ya dijimos, Jeffrey, our English guy, Jeffrey y Giovanni. Ahí otro Juan en, en italiano. Jeffrey, Giovanni, solo que Jeffrey en inglés es con doble F, con doble F. Entonces tiene que pronunciarse bastante fuerte la F. Jeffrey. Uh -huh. Y el diminutivo es Jeff. Jeff, solamente. De ahí, Daisy, ok. Question. Uh -huh. I have a question. Uh -huh. A Carolina. question. Uh -huh. Carolina. Uh -huh. Oh, Caroline. Caroline. English. Like the post poltergeist. That is a famous name also from the movie Poltergeist. Is Caroline. Caroline. Okay. Yeah. You. Yes. You're welcome. So Rodriguez is Rodriguez. It's not Rodriguez. It's Rodriguez. Rodriguez. Así. Entonces, let me see. The last one. Margarita, José Luis, ya las dije todas, ¿verdad? No me falta nadie. Guadalupe, José Luis, Ana Ivania, Raquel, Rachel, Ingrid, Jeffrey, Oscar, Sarah, Carmen, Cecilia, Ronald. Oh, that was me. That was missing. Ronald. Ronald. Anthony, Antonio, or Tony, that is the other name that we can call him, Ronald, Tony, or Anthony, that is the other. So the, the name that you, that you prefer to call you, so it's just in English, in English. Okay, my name is Claudia, but that is Spanish. For the English people, it's a little bit uh, hard to pronounce it because it's Claudia. The A, U, en inglés, la A y la U son O. Entonces, Claudia. Así me dicen a mí en inglés, Claudia. O si no, me dicen Chloe. Pero Chloe es más French. Chloe. Es un diminutivo de, de Claudia. Es, o me dicen Claudi también a veces. <laughs> Pero Claudi es como... Eh, Cloud es nube. Entonces, Claudia es nublado. <laughs> no me gusta que me digan así. <laughs> así que bueno. Ok, let's see. Let's review the rules. The rules for the, for the course. Just, uh, I will go like a little bit fast. Let me see. Um, you know this, but I will have to read it that every, every rule is, it will, will be the same. So, homework and evaluations it's necessary to get 80 percent of average in all of the work uh, the homework and evaluations to complete the course uh, with uh, a complete satisfaction the homework will be found in the platform and we recommend you to work uh, on that just after the class and all the homeworks about the subjects will be covered uh, and that will have to be completed before every Friday at midnight because the registry will be sent to InsaForp uh, weekly. Uh, support material will be shared with a criteria of the teacher in a digital format. So let's see, the other one would be uh, the... Bueno, esta la voy a decir en español. Las normas de convivencia. Botón de silencio, ¿verdad? Que veo que lo hacen perfectamente. Lista de asistencia, pues siempre la toma el Zoom, ¿verdad? Eh, un nombre completo, la mayoría lo tiene. Cámara encendida también, la mayoría. Participación activa, todos participan. El uso de chat, pues, eh, un poquito me gusta más que hablen para que practiquen su pronunciación. Levantar la mano también se puede. Eh, siempre mantener el respeto. Veo que todos son muy, muy educaditos. Eso me gusta. 
Eh, bueno, asistencia al 80% de las clases, avance y desarrollo de plataforma de aprendizaje, inicio, eh, son horarios establecidos, ¿verdad? Vamos, la clase dura 60 minutos, hoy empezamos un poquito tarde, así que vamos a completar esos minutos pasados las 9, que ya son. Eh, vamos a trabajar en ejercicios de la plataforma de la clase. En la clase nos habíamos quedado en, según me comentaron, en el midterm exam. Eso es cierto. Is that right, kids? Are you in the midterm exam right now? We have only five questions to solve. Have you finished them? Or do you have a question about it? No? No han hecho el examen todavía del midterm. Las cinco preguntitas. Alguien tiene yes. consulta. Sí, ya lo hicieron. Ok. Yes, Raise yes. your hand. Raise your hand if you did it. <laughs> Ya, ya estuvo. Ya, eso. Vamos. Y eso, Rachel. Oh, José Luis, muy bien. Muy bien. Ok. Ronald, well done. José Luis también. Margarita, Erika, todas. Qué bien. Ah, no, me dijo que le gustaba Alejandra. Ok, Alejandra. <ríe> este, Cecilia, uy. Ingrid, uh. Wow. Sinceramente, mejor grupo no me pudo haber tocado. <ríe> Qué bonito. Bien, entonces, este, vamos a ver, 902, empezamos aquí. Bueno, we will begin in the section four. Uh, it is, what does she look like? I want to have someone to explain to me, what am I saying? What does she look like? What do you understand about that? Um, characteristic, uh, mm -hmm. maybe physic, physic, I may be, uh, it's maybe a, a, a physical feature. Yes. It's characteristic is like característica. Eso es más como para documentos, pero para una característica de una persona es como a feature. Feature. Feature se escribe. Feature. Mm -hmm. Entonces es, what does she look like? Es, ¿cómo se mira a ella? Como por ejemplo, yo presento a alguien y digo, ¿va a venir una señora? Como cuando les dijeron, miren hoy, va a haber otra teacher. Eh, y entonces ustedes, mm, what does she look like? ¿Cómo se ve? O sea, ¿cómo es ella? ¿Cómo se mira? ¿Cómo la reconozco? Entonces es, what does she look like? If we are talking about a man, is what does he look like? Remember, we use does when you have third person. And we have do when we have the other, the other one, the plural. So, uh, what do I look like? For example, when you are uh, dressing a new, a new outfit and you put in front of a mirror and you said, hmm, what do I look like, mom? Como me miro, mamá? Or for your husband <laughs> or your boyfriend, como me miro. So to receive a compliment <laughs> from, from a person. So, como me miro. What do I look like? También podría traducirse como que parezco, que, que, que te parece, como me veo. Así puede ser la traducción. So in these lessons, uh, we will learn vocabulary for describing people. In, uh, let me see. Then uh, we will have appearance. We were talking about appearance. So uh, uh, let, me, let me ask you something now that you know me a little bit. What do I look like? ¿Qué les parezco? Parezco seria, enojada, friendly. Me veo este mayor, me veo menor. ¿Cómo me ven? I'm, I'm, I'm asking you, what do I, what do I look like? Okay. Am I listening? Very intelligent. Oh, thank Friendly you. teacher. Oh, thank you. <laughs> okay. Another one. Friendly. Friendly. Okay. Third. Okay. Thank you. So it's not thank you. Okay. It's 
thank you. Remember the the tongue in between your teeth. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Let me let me put the video right now. Uh, let me see. I will share my screen because I have a video for you. And I will put a video that you will all know. Let me see. Uh, no. I remember the video. Um, no, I will send it through the WhatsApp because it won't be enough time to, to view it. It is a lot of uh, information. So we'll be, uh, let's practice pronunciation. Okay, talking about uh, hair, you know it's hair, hair. My is blondie, blondie. But it's, uh, it's not original, <laughs> it's not only original blondie, <laughs> but it is, okay. Long brown hair. Can you please repeat after me? Long, long brown, brown hair. hair. Okay, short. 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 Blond, blond, blond. Remember, D at the end is V. Blond, blond. Okay, hair. Hair. Okay, straight black hair. Straight, straight black hair. Okay, straight black hair is pelo, pelo liso. Straight is pelo, pelo liso. Straight normalmente es recto, verdad? Pero para decir pelo liso es straight, eh, así lo dice. Ahora, curly. What is curly? Do you know what is curly? Curly. 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 No. Como curly. Eh, no. Más que ondulado. Colocho. Colocho, exacto. Colocho, el curly es más que ondulado porque el ondulado es como wavy, que hace onda, ¿verdad? Wavy. Pero el colocho, colocho, ajá, el colocho, colocho es curly. Curly es que le cuesta peinarse, ¿verdad? Curly. Ajá. Y otra cosa es frisado. Ustedes saben que el frisado viene de inglés frizz. Entonces, si el freeze. pelo tiene frizz, es, es otra cosa también. Es como maltratado, como encrespado. Frizz es como encrespado. Ahora, bold. ¿Qué es bold? Calvo. Eso, bravo. Ok, si sí, una persona tiene bigote, es a mustache. 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 And beard. Beard is... Mustache. Mustache and beard des barba. Hay tres palabras que se van a aparecer. Cerveza, barba y pájaro. Cerveza beer. y oso. Oso también. Oso. Beer. 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 De ahí la beer. Solo beer. la I es cerveza. De ahí bird. Con la D bird. bien pronunciada es pájaro. Pájaro. Uh -huh. Y con la D que casi no se oye es barba, es bird. Mm -hmm. Ese es barba. Ok. Ahora, young. 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 Ese es joven. Ahora, middle aged. Middle aged. Middle aged. Middle aged. Eso es middle aged. I'm middle aged right now. Es como entre los. 40 y 50. Esa es la middle age. Middle mm. age. Middle age. Ok. Middle la doble D se pronuncia como R. Middle. Ok. Middle. Elderly. 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 Elderly es viejito, ¿verdad? Es senior. Es, ya es. Senior es como 60, ¿verdad? Pero elderly es ya 80 para arriba. <ríe> ya es súper viejito. Elderly, ok. Handsome. Handsome. Eso. Good looking. Good looking. Good, God es Dios. Es good. Yes. Good looking. Good. Yeah. Good, looking. good. Así como que la yes. gela. Good. Yes. Good. 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 Exacto. Good looking. Pretty. Good. Pretty. 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 Okay. Pretty. 
pretty, okay. The, the other one is short. Mm. Hablando de altura, short. 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 short es pequeño, ¿verdad? De ahí, uh, fairly. 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 Fairly es como gordito y chiquito. Fairly. Fairly. Ahora, medium es um, una persona mediana, digamos una persona medium. como de uno, unos 50, unos 60. Medium. 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 Mm -hmm. Y el último sería. Uh, very tall. Very tall. Is very tall. Yeah, that is that very is tall. that is right. Very tall. Okay. Very tall. Very tall. Okay. So uh, let's see. Les voy a les voy a, eh, podrían decirme una frase pequeña así chiquita. Eh, tres personas nada más de cómo se de, describirían. Por ejemplo, les voy a dar un ejemplo. I am medium because I am 1.65 meters. I have blonde hair, but my hands are short. Eso es una descripción mía, ¿verdad? Les dije, soy una persona mediana porque mido unos 65 metros. Tengo, tengo, soy rubia per, y tengo manos pequeñas. Ahora, una frase, tres personas nada más que me digan eh, una descripción. Race. Ok, Daisy, go ahead. Hello. Hello. My name is Daisy. Uh -huh. I am clean. Oh, wow. Good looking. <laughs> okay. Yes. Uh, wavy black hair. I don't see it's wavy. I see it's straight. <laughs> no, wavy, wavy. Mm, mm. Wavy is ondulado. O lo anda planchado. Yes. yes. Oh, okay. So that's iron. <laughs> Iron okay. is 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 stylet. Yes. And okay. Uh huh. I am, I am medium high. Exactly. Okay. And and sorry. 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 Ah. Okay. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh, wavy black hair. Okay. <laughs> uh huh. Uh huh. Uh, black eyebrows, eyebrows, mm -hmm. eyebrows. Uh, medium nose, medium nose, uh -huh. and thin lips, thin lips. Okay, thin. yeah, I see. Okay, thank, thank you, Daisy. Another one that is making a description of her herself or himself. Okay, Margarita. I am very tall. Wow. I one meter seventy-eight. Oh my god, you're seventy-eight? Yeah. <laughs> really? Yeah, oh. Really. Okay, you're very tall. I have curly black hair mm -hmm. is long. Okay. Hair. Hair. Hair mm -hmm. is long. Mm -hmm. It's long. Mm -hmm. My eyes is brown. Are brown because it's plural. Are brown. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um. Only. Only. <laughs> only. <laughs> okay. 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 That is good. That is good. Okay. Another one. The last one, and we will be finishing. Just another one. Maybe a man. I want to hear a man. Or let me ping someone. I want to hear, uh, or there is only one here, it's Oscar. You are the only one here, or and Jose Luis. So who wants to, to make a description, Oscar or uh, Jose Luis? Only one. Hello, teacher. Hello. I am, <laughs> I am medium. Yeah. I have uh, black hair. Yeah, I see it. 
I wear in uh, glasses. Yeah, you wear glasses. I have white skin. Yeah, white skin, okay. Are you Caucasian? Sorry? Caucasian, are you Caucasian? I don't understand. Cau Caucasico. Es, Caucasico, ah, yeah, okay. Caucasian yeah. es como por decir los, los cheles cheles, los gringos cheles cheles, lo que puro, es puro gringo allá. <laughs> Caucasian. Sí. Ajá, ah, así. Okay. Are you Caucasian or just white? Uh, I think just white. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> And what else? Um, me to have hands short. Short hands. Uh, short remember? hands. The adjective and the name. Okay. And okay. then? Okay. And only. No more. Okay. That's all. Not only. only. That's, all. <laughs> That's all. That's all. Okay. Thank you for your participation. Okay. So okay. I will share with you in WhatsApp the video that I mentioned to you so you can practice a features about the hair, the age, uh, without saying your age exactly. For example, young, se sabe que es joven, ¿verdad? No está diciendo su edad. A middle age es una persona que es 40, 50, ¿verdad? Elderly, ya sabemos que es alguien que pasa de 70, 75. Para looks, por ejemplo, handsome, guapo. A una mujer no le vamos a decir handsome. Una mujer es pretty, pretty. Good looking es alguien que está bien arregladito. No necesariamente es una persona bella, sino que es una persona que se mira bien, como se arregla, que está siempre bien neat. Neat, aquí decimos nítida, pero es neat. Neat es que um, siempre anda... Gorgeous. Ex, ex, gorgeous. Gorgeous es como espectacular. Así como alguien... Beyoncé es gorgeous. Beyoncé. Y Jennifer López. Is gorgeous. Or maybe let's say Brad Pitt is gorgeous. Or uh, let's say um, another man that is gorgeous is um, Aquaman, maybe. <laughs> Or Captain America, <laughs> maybe. Or Superman. Chris Hemsworth? <laughs> What? Chris Hemsworth? Chris Hemsworth? Or gorgeous. Henry Cavill? Uh -huh. Gorgeous is como es espectacular. O sea, es como. Uh, una cosa es ser amazing, amazing es maravilloso, or marvelous, marvelous. Okay, uh, like uh, Henry Cavill or Chris Hemsworth. Exactly, like, uh, I like Chris Hemsworth, yeah, okay. it's, it's Thor, right? It's Thor. Uh -huh, yeah. Okay, yeah, and, but it is, uh, for example, let's say Iron Man, Iron Man is not as gorgeous or Thor, but Iron Man is, could be like, Good looking, good looking, let's say. Es como bonito, como que está bien, pero no es así como um, eh, gorgeous. Gorgeous es como espectacular, así como Beyoncé, así. Entonces, eh, de ahí lo último, la altura, short, es alguien chiquitito. O sea, chiquitito, no enano, ¿verdad? Pero sí chiquito. Fairly es alguien que es pequeño y aparte es gordito. Fairly. Medium es alguien que es pequeño pequeña, pero no es enanito, ¿verdad? <ríe> sino que es alguien pequeñito. Uh, nuestra estatura podría ser una mujer de unos, unos 60, unos 63, por ahí, medium, unos 65, hasta entonces, sin tacones. De ahí es alguien que eh, se puede decir que es pretty, también este, puede ser este, una persona eh, 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 que está como bien... Um, eh, postrada, ¿verdad? Eh, height es como que tiene una buena altura, digamos, que tiene una buena altura. Y ya si dicen Jerry es eh, que es alguien como que es Hulk, que es alguien definitivamente monstruoso, pues que es alto, eh, fornido, fortachón, eh, como, como diríamos aquí que es bien eh, fornido o cholo, así. Eso es yo, eh, Jerry. Así se le dice. Bueno, kids, um, do you have any questions before we leave? No, no questions. No, no. 
Okay, <laughs> okay, you're hungry, maybe it's late. So you have to go to take your, your meal or your dinner. So it's ha it has been a pleasure for me to share this first session with you. I like the group. I enjoy your pronunciations and believe me, you can do it. You can do it. If I did, you can do it too, because I'm not, uh, uh, yo no soy uh, estadounidense ni soy, soy salvadoreña, 100%. Y aún así, miren, lo pude hacer. Así que les aconsejo, vean noticias, cualquier noticia deportiva, la que sea, del tiempo, la política, finanzas, eh, espectáculos, lo que a usted les guste de noticias. Pero noticias. Netflix tiene traductores a veces que no son nativos. Y también las, las películas a veces no traducen bien para nada, porque no saben los modismos exactamente de la cultura. Uh, canciones hacen que rimen para de, para que para o sea pronuncian mal para que les rime bien con la con la melodía tampoco sirven ni aunque las vean leídas tampoco sirven y no es un lenguaje educado eso se nota cuando alguien habla inglés um, educado o alguien habla un inglés así como como cuando ustedes oyen alguien perdón verdad cuando ustedes oyen oyen alguien de aquí de San Salvador y de repente oyen alguien de Juan Miguel los de San Miguel hablan así, ¿verdad? Es español, pero están hablando distinto. Así se oye. Les voy a pasar un video en el WhatsApp de los... Son como 45 acentos en inglés solo en Estados Unidos. Está el sureño, está el de la gente negra, está el de los Caucasian, el los white collar que le llaman. Está el inglés de Nueva York, que es súper elevado y educado. Está el inglés de Los Ángeles. Está el inglés de los eh, indios, de ahí los nativos de Estados Unidos. Hay, está el inglés de los latinos, el inglés de los mexicanos, de los chicanos. Hay mil pronunciaciones en inglés. No, no, no hay, no hay, o sea, es muy diferente. Y todavía es muy diferente al de los latinos. Los, los de inglés nativos detectan exactamente cuando hablamos nosotros, cuando somos latinos. Bien lo saben. Así que ahí van a notar como las diferencias de cómo se habla y los diferentes acentos para que vayan oyendo que no es solo la, hablar, sino que también es la entonación de su lengua, sus dientes y sus labios. Eso es lo que se ocupa en inglés. Ok, kids, it's had been a pleasure. So uh, let's see you tomorrow and please, eight o'clock, ok? Ok, teacher. Ok, okay. Good, night. Good, night. Bye. Good, night. good night. Bye, bye. Bye bye. Bye. Hola. Bye. 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 Bye.